Follow my cheap profession on the key possession. I'm OD aggressive when I run the rock. See me flexing in the winning section. If they press a bombing on them off the top, slump a hater, leave them in the field. Or I'm in the kitchen whipping up a dot. Took it from the bottom to the top. Certified man and money shot. Toss a bullet, hit you in the chest, and send a burn across your face from mind to slot. Please don't test them, I bring heat and brush it. Have my hitter brush, you move you off the spot. Slump a hater, leave them in the field. Or I'm in the kitchen whipping up a dot. Took it from the bottom to the top. Certified man and money shot. If you guys are looking for fast, cheap, reliable coins for your college football 25 team, check out my coin sponsors at MMOXP and use discount code MONEYSHOT for 5% off your order. Link in the description below. The champ is here! Welcome back, Money Team. This is Mad Money Shot. So then the College Football 25 cheese. That's right. I haven't forgotten about my college football players. As this might be my favorite football game out right now, and I do have Madden 25, so I'm definitely going to keep doing content for you guys. Today's video, I'm going to show you guys an updated version of a defense that I already put out, but I couldn't help but notice that in that video, I had a lot of people questioning if it was the defense or if it was the fact that I was using the Georgia Bulldogs. If you guys don't know, in this particular game mode, you can only use the playbook of the team you choose, and the reason I constantly choose Georgia is because I want to show you guys plays out of my offensive ebook from Georgia. So to do that, I have to use Georgia. But I also put out a 425 defensive ebook. And I don't know about North Texas. I mean, literally, I didn't even know North Texas was a team. But Texas State, which is a team that I use in my offline dynasty mode, is one of my favorite sleeper teams. And they just so happen to have the 425 defensive ebook as their defense. But before I get into the video, as always, if you guys want to see more videos like this, please make sure to be a subscriber and like button. Let me know in the comment section. If you guys need more help or more money plays, you can download these or any of my ebooks instantly simply by clicking the links in the description or the top pinned comment. First, I want to tell you guys how I set this team up because they do have a lot of talent. It's just mostly on the offensive side of the ball. They have an 85 overall quarterback with A7 speed, which is really all you need. They have a running back who's an A9 overall and a 94 speed, as well as a backup running back that's A6, but I don't, can't say I really use him. They also have a 95 speed receiver and a guy that I like to call Bubba Sparks because I don't really know his name, but they have four receivers that are 80 overall plus. They also have an 89 speed tight end, which I make sure that I always put in the starting spot because that's way better than a 73 speed. On defense though, they're pretty bad as they only really have a couple of 80 plus overall players and their starting safety is a 78 speed. Ugh. Brother, ugh. What's that? So you definitely want to replace him with your backup strong safety since they're both decently rated. And the defense I'm going to show you guys once again today is the 3-3 men, also known in the Madden community as the 3-3 odd. Now, if you only played college football and you never played Madden, you wouldn't know that last year this was one of the best defenses in the entire game. In fact, it was so good that they patched it for Madden 25 and it doesn't work at all. But it still works in college football 25 in the way that I'm going to show you guys. But first, I'm going to show you guys my coaching adjustments. Does there really aren't any? You just want to make sure that you don't mess with your zone drops and you turn your auto flip defensive play call off. And that's going to be because you flip this play in the huddle every single time for a better pass rush, which is something that I mentioned in multiple videos. I got two different plays today, but the play I'm going to start today's video with is going to be the cover three match, as this is my favorite pass defense and blitz, and I'm also going to show you guys a run defense out of a completely different play later in the video. Now, this is one of the easier blitz to set up, as you can see here. All you have to do is blitz all linebackers, which I do before my opponent even breaks the huddle, which is deep pad to the right and down the right stick. And then after that, you just have to use this guy here and hover the guard gap before you drop back into coverage. And you can see how blitzing all linebackers definitely helps out when it comes to run defense. On the next play, he tries to hurry up and do it again. And I go to send the blitz again, because anytime somebody's close to under center, I want to do that. And you can see the quarterback tries to take off on a read option and gets nowhere, as this is a very good run defense defense on its own but if you can believe it or not it's not even the best run defense in the formation now you got two choices when it comes to this play you can either blitz all linebackers or you can drop everybody back but you're still going to want to hover this guard gap to make your opponent think that you are sending that blitz although on this play i drop this blitzing linebacker into a hard flat which will help with short throws but it'll also help to act as a qb contain if i'm playing against a mobile quarterback though i often like to put this guy in a qb contain as i find that that definitely helps to corral a lot of quarterbacks and can act as a late blitz as well we don't always need hard 
power flats, though, is one of the best things about this defense is that the seam flats will often match. So if there's a short route like this underneath, it will often take care of it. And since this is a matching coverage, a lot of times the hook zones will follow crossing routes like man coverage as well, making this the better version of this type of defense. As you can see here, everything is bagged, and this is not a look you'll get if you set your zone drops or if you have a regular non-matching cover three. One of the biggest weaknesses against these type of defenses is the fact that these slot receivers can typically go right up the seam, but these seam flats cover that flawlessly. And since he was running a simple verticals play to try to take advantage of that seam, I just cut off the inside route. Gotcha, bitch! Which team do you play for? To get an interception before my teammate essentially cost me a touchdown, but I still get the ball inside the 10. As we punch it in a few plays later. But of course we gotta keep this game interesting as my opponent just walks right through the kick return coverage. What the hell was that? Before we take the lead right back on just a simple RPO play. <laughs> what? The defense I use the second most in this formation is probably the pinch bug zero, and that's because there's a glitch in College Football 25 that allows you to run commit from man zero blitz. I made another full video breaking this down, so if you guys want to check that out, I'll have that on screen at the end of the video. We already saw how this cover three defense can be very good up the middle against run plays, but outside it's vulnerable since the cornerbacks drop back and there's not often a lot of help outside. So after he breaks off nine yards on the first play and calls a hurry up, on second and inches I'm expecting to run again. So I switch over to the pinch bug zero and run commit, which is hitting RB or R want to down the right stick and normally if you guess wrong all the cornerbacks and safeties will leave their assignment and go after the running back in the backfield but on this play he decides to pass and you can see that the coverage is still there as the cornerbacks and safeties don't leave their assignments on the next play on third and inches i do it again and this time he actually does run a play and you can see how the safeties and cornerbacks immediately leave their assignments and go after the quarterback in the backfield he tries to run a hurry up one more time on fourth and four and he tries to hit a running back in the flat how about new giving me great field position once again as we score on a jet sweep a few plays later. He almost crosses midfield on the next drive, but we ain't having that. As you can see right here, once again, nothing's open, and he has to run for his life to try to extend the play as the three down line will eventually get pressure. On the next play, I do that hard flat adjustment to create a Mabel concept, and you'll see that when he rolls out of the pocket, all I have to do is push in the right stick, and that guy will act like a QB contained as he basically chases him down, forcing a bad throw and essentially ending the game. As we split the defense right down the middle to score on the very first play. See ya! Now I can feel some of the haters in the comment section already saying that that guy was trash, but I'm literally on a 22 game win streak with this team and this defense, and they can't all be bad. In the next game I face Baylor, and I make this guy look as equally as bad, as we almost score an RPO the exact same way, only he doesn't actually click on it lets the computer do the tackling. So I don't know if that means he's better or worse than the last guy. And that tackle is huge as he eventually holds me to a field goal, and I'm cool with it. I'll take my points because I believe in this defense. But you'll notice that this team goes through the exact same process of getting stuffed in the run on the ground. He does find a little bit of success on the next play to get himself to a third and short. And from here, I'm going to use that run commit glitch, which actually backfires on me. Oh, you almost had it. As I almost get an interception, but one of the downsides is you don't have a lot of support after the fact. He tries to run outside on the next play, but you can see we shut that down. And the majority of his success comes from when I guess run at the wrong time. Not that it affects the coverage, it's just that man zero blitz is one of the worst pass defenses in the entire game but from here his offense becomes very predictable as I use that run commit glitch on the next two plays to shut him down for a loss on both as manager of blitz is also a very good defense when it comes to RPO plays as we eventually hold him to a field goal as well. Back on offense, we decide to spread the field and I'm gonna try to make him drop down on these drags so that I can hit this deeper route over the middle. And sure enough, he bites on those drags and I go right over the top before he gets me into a fourth and one that I have to go for from here because I don't trust myself making a field goal. And I love having a mobile quarterback as this guy gets an easy first down before I make a somewhat risky throw and moss it for the touchdown. Leaving only 14 seconds left on the clock before half. Probably a good idea just to take a knee, but since I know he only has 14 seconds to score and he has to go the length of the field, I decide to play over the top, which is wire triangle, then up on the right stick, and this turns the seam flats into curl flats, which in my opinion is probably a worse coverage, but it also makes the deep zones play in a way where they prioritize deep passing coverage over matching principles. And you can see how this curl flat doesn't match like it typically would, as he just drops back into the flat, Got he. but he's in a perfect position to make a play as we get another interception, and this one we're taking back to the house. Four pick six to end the game. Play 
Virginia. In my next game, I know West Virginia has one of the fastest quarterbacks in the game with 88 speed, so I'm going to be putting this defensive end slash outside linebacker on a QB contain just about every single time because I know that's probably one of the biggest weapons. I also like the hard flag quite a bit based off the fact that cover three cornerbacks are very vulnerable underneath. And you can see on the next play, we almost shut that play down, but he beats me with a spin move to get a first. I decided to send the blitz on the next play, and it was perfectly timed as he tries to run with the quarterback on a read option, and we stuff him in the backfield for a four-yard loss. Before we decide to mix the two concepts together by both hard flatting and sending the blitz on the next play, and he checks it down underneath to a drag that probably should have been knocked out, only getting him back to the original line of scrimmage. Before we QB contain on third and 10, and the second he leaves the pocket, I push in the right stick to get a free rusher off the edge and another easy sack to push him back to fourth and 23. From here, I'm not going to do any of that stuff. I'm just going to use her, the blitzing outside linebacker, and you can see he tries to run for it even though it's a mile away, and we corral him about seven yards short to get the ball back before we go back to that end around on offense and almost score on the next play, but this guy actually has some user ability forcing me to hit the corner out on one of the fastest tight ends in the game. Then back on defense, I was right. This guy likes to run with the quarterback, so I got to be on top of that. As he gets to second and inches, from here, we're going to do that run commit glitch because even if he decides to pass, it's still a really good blitz as we get a sack to push him back to third and ninth. We get him to a fourth and seven, and I don't know why everybody decides to go for these situations, but we put the QB contain on once again, and you can see that he's totally locked up. He only has one receiver crossing over the middle, and I realized that we're double covering him, so I let the computer do it, and that was a huge mistake because he totally blows the coverage, allowing him to get a big reception down the field when I should have had the ball right there. No big deal though, is we're gonna go right back to destroying this guy as he tries to run inside on the next play and gets stuffed by the blitz. Then he tries to spread me out on second and 11, and he tries to beat me with a double move right over the middle, but you ain't fooling me, bro. As we get the pick, and the rage quit as this guy realizes he ain't got nothing for this defense either. I'm going to go ahead and end the video there. If you guys want to see more gameplays from defenses like this, I'll make sure to have them pop it up on screen. And until next time, thanks for watching, man. My shit out.